Leonardo DiCaprio's ex, Aaron Heatherton, files for bankruptcy, says she made less than $3,000 this year. <laughs> That's great. That's great. When you're dating Leonardo DiCaprio, don't bother working. He's going to pay for everything. And then I'm going to get used to a certain level of comfort and a certain lifestyle. And then when he breaks up with my ass, <laughs> I'm going to be left destitute. <laughs> Woe is me. Uh, Boo-hoo. Boo-hoo, Aaron Heatherton. And there's a bunch of social justice warrior feminist pinheads online saying that uh, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio should help her. White knight idiots. <laughs> why? Why? Why should he help her? Can somebody tell me? Can somebody tell me why he should help this broad? I'd like to know. I really would. Why should he help her? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that's why. She's a good looking broad. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Mystery solved there. So the former Victoria's Secret angel, who's now 30. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> He's like half again her age. He's 44. It's great. It's great. It's great when you have money. <laughs> you can take the hottest broads and then dump them. <laughs> dump them, pump them, and dump them, baby. <laughs> Ooh. Too hot. Oh, really hot coffee. Ah, burned my throat. <laughs> I bought a really good Darbus, a little too good. Insulates very well. They didn't insulate that well when I was a kid. Fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, let's move on. So, the former Victoria's Secret Angel Model 30 is reportedly over a, <laughs> get this, half million dollars in debt. Half a million fucking dollars. Oh my God. According to court documents obtained by the blast, earlier this year, Heatherton, whose birth name is Aaron Bubbly. <laughs> I guess that's not a good name for a model, right? She has such a bubbly personality. That's what you say about fat people, right? Filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy, listing $6,464.57 in assets. I'm richer than this broad by far. What the hell? <laughs> she gets out of a relationship with fucking Leonardo DiCaprio and she's destitute. What happened, lady? You didn't take some of that little cheddar that he gave you along the way and, and, and stock it away? A little sock or something? <laughs> and $560,000 in liabilities. <laughs> I don't get it. What's funny is she was making good money before she started dating him. And then somehow her work dried up. She stopped working when she got with Leonardo. Of course, because he's a multimillionaire, right? He's worth, what, $100, $200 million? She figured, I landed a shark, baby. He's rich as shit. I'll never have to work again. Oh, I forgot to change my behavior accordingly and not be a nasty, nagging cunt. So he dumped my ass. Yeah. It turns out that a smart guy like Leonardo DiCaprio, who's still not married because he's smart, <laughs> he's not going to get with just any broad, okay? He's going to be very, very picky. So you're going to have to adapt your behavior and be really, really great. For him to keep you? Uh, well, I shouldn't have to be great. I have a pussy. And I'm hot. Uh, yeah, but he's a good-looking guy. And he's really rich. So he can get any hot bro. Don't you have anything else to bring to the table except your looks? No! Well, that's why he dumped your ass. Yeah. Ah! But there's why he kept her around for as long as he did. Wah! Nice. Very, very nice. Uh, not much there beyond her looks, but ooh, I'll give her that. She's a good-looking broad. I'll compliment women on their looks if they're attractive, okay? Because who gives a fuck? I don't, so what? You're good-looking. That's God-given. That's not something that you've earned. That's not virtue, okay? So whoop the fuck and do Yeah, hey, she's got a nice body. Whoopee. Whoopee. She probably just sits around and watches TV all day. She just doesn't eat. She's just skinny. That's all. All right, so far this year, so far this year, oh, this is great. Heatherton claims she only makes $1,089 a month, and 221 of that comes from family and friends, according to The Blast. How did she? Well, wait till you hear how much she used to make. I, I'm wondering, what happened? What ha well, Leonardo happened, right? Like all good-looking women, 
who get with a rich guy, they just let themselves go. Both in their appearance, which is probably part of why he dumped her, because he's only with her in the first place because of her looks, and also she let herself go in terms of her work ethic, which, come on, model? Not much work ethic there. <laughs> All right, so the model's living expenses total to a little over $1,000. Really? What's she living in, a shoebox? She living in a cardboard box behind a uh, Walmart? McDonald's? Is she eating leftover hamburgers out of the, the bin? <laughs> so, boy, she says that this year she made $2,820, and she currently has $919 in her checking account, the outlet reported. Well, I'll give you a little cheddar, honey. <laughs> I'll give you a little cheddar if you still look that good, but I want something in return. I'm too good for that. Yeah, right. Meanwhile, you've been whoring yourself out to uh, Leonardo for the past year, and that's why you're broke. And obviously, Leonardo was smart enough not to, not to give her too much money. I mean, I don't doubt that he took her on vacations. Maybe he let her live with her. Maybe financed her lifestyle to a certain extent. But he clearly gave her no money. Or if he did, she probably spent it on fucking handbags. According to legal documents, Heatherton is also deep in credit card debt. <laughs> Why is it always... Well, it's always the case with these good-looking broads. They never look to their future. And by the time they reach 30, they're drowning in fucking debt. And it seems to correlate to their level of attractiveness. So she's a 10, nine, nine and a half, 10. So she's got a million dollars in debt. <laughs> ah, so it seems to uh, uh, match up in hundreds of thousands, you know, so she were five, she, well, five, you know, nobody will give them anything. <laughs> you get to be over a seven, I think, to get money out of a dude, right? Uh, and even then you'd have to have a decent personality. It's only tens that can be objectionable cunts and still get paid. According to legal documents, she's deep in credit card debt stemming from when the model took out three credit cards from City National Bank in 2010. Heatherton currently owes $11,000 on one, $9,400 on another, and $194,000 on a third, adding up to a whopping $215,000 in credit card debt alone. Holy shit. Right. Well, I was right. Okay, so for every point... Over five, you can maybe get yourself into hundred thousand dollars of debt because it's not required. The more points you have in sexual marketplace value, there's less and less requirement to be intelligent and manage your finances effectively. And of course, a ten, well, <laughs> half a million, baby, five points above the average. So five hundred thousand dollars in debt. <laughs> uh, the mo model is also indebted to her former business partner for hundred thousand who sued Heatherton for $10 million in 2017 for a sportswear collection they were meant to launch together that never got off the ground. Well, that would require work. And she was probably dating Leonardo at the time. I don't need to work. I'm too pretty. Oh, boy. In October of last year, Heatherton allegedly abandoned the project without warning or justification. She also owes $41,000 in back taxes. <laughs> It's always the case with these hot-looking broads. And if this goes to court, the judge will just give her a slap on the wrist. Anyway, she's filing for bankruptcy. So, you know, she won't have to pay any of this off. That's great. She just has to find herself a, a new sugar daddy who, you know, is willing to actually spend money on her. Because clearly Leonardo didn't give her shit. <laughs> I love it. Last year, Heatherton made headlines after selling her Manhattan apartment for $2.68 million. What the f Fuck! Not even a year ago, this bitch had an apartment that she told, sold for two point. What did she do with the money? She lost two point six million in a year, while Leonardo was probably flipping some of the bills and the nights out at the bars and paying for meals and shit. How in the hell? It seems like the better looking you are, the worse off you are when it comes to managing your finances. The Sports Illustrated model. Alum purchased the pad for $1.7 in 2012 and had been trying to sell it since 2016 after being sued by her neighbors for unreasonable levels of noise. She's highly, <laughs> highly uh, irresponsible. I love it. Uh, so Heatherton and DiCaprio, who's 44, dated from 2011 to 2012. Oh, geez, this article, which is very recent, which is this month, made it seem like they were still together. Wow. 2012? Seven years ago. So she was 20, 23 at the time. <laughs> yeah, what am I thinking? Leonardo DiCaprio is not going to date a 30-year-old broad. Holy shit. But the article goes on to say they're still, they break up as amicable and they're still friends. 
At the time, they're split. They're not good enough friends for him to pay off her debt, though, are they? <laughs> That's great. I got to love it. I, I, I cannot tell you how much it makes me smile and laugh to hear about one of these rich broads who got her money just for being attractive, and then she loses it all because... You know, the closer she gets to 30, the less willing men are to pay for her shit. So the more she has to shell out the money herself. And lo and behold, when she gets to 30, she's half a million dollars in debt. So the wall is real, gentlemen. The wall is real. <laughs> Let's get rid of this picture. <laughs> Seen enough of this broad already. That pic does nothing for me. Okay. That's great. She, she's, she's so much in debt, but I bet she's living fine. I bet she's surrounded by all her wonderful wealth. Shoes and handbags and jewelry. Oh, my. Why didn't she sell some of that? I have no wealth! Yeah, she probably got some storage locker somewhere with, like, millions and millions of dollars of shit in it that's off the books in somebody else's name, right? All her Gucci handbags. She's going to save those until they get antique-ish, right? All that really, really expensive shit like handbags and such, especially handbags, that stuff actually... If you keep it in good shape, I found this out and I was really shocked because I watched a show on TV, uh, some kind of uh, pawn broker in Europe, and he was a pawn broker to the rich, and he would evaluate items from rich people who, while they had a lot of assets, didn't have a lot of uh, liquidity, so they would bring in their uh, really expensive shit to pawn, like jewelry and handbags, and it turns out that if handbags are well-maintained, meaning you don't keep in a, in, a, in, a, in a fucking closet and they get moldy and shit and smell like mold, uh, they go up in value, which is very interesting, I think. So, yeah, if she maintains that stuff, and she, again, I find it very hard to believe that this broad hasn't accrued a copious amount of fucking expensive handbags because all these rich, good-looking model broads, they spend their money on these status symbols, Okay. Jewelry and shoes and handbags. And while the shoes aren't resellable very well, handbags are. She's probably got hundreds of handbags, lots of fucking jewelry and shit in that storage locker. And once she uh, files for bankruptcy after a couple years, <laughs> she'll start to slowly sell that shit off online under somebody else's name and identity. Yeah, she'll be fine. She'll be fine. Meanwhile, she'll find herself a new fucking sugar daddy boyfriend who pay all the bills. Yeah, now she's 30, but she's still a good-looking fucking broad. She's dropped from a 10 to a 9 if she's kept herself in good shape, but still as a 9, she'll be able to get taken care of, all right? <laughs>